An expander is for patients whose upper jaw is narrow. It gently widens the upper arch by stretching the center palatal connective suture. The expander is prescribed only prior to completion of growth. A parent or the patient should adjust the expander daily as instructed until the palate has been widened to the desired position. It is then left in place for approximately four months without further adjustment while new bone fills in the center palatal suture or healing occurs. Expect to see a space appear between your upper two front teeth as the palate is widened. Before the expander feels comfortable, you may sense some initial pressure and expect to feel a tingling or itch under the appliance. You may also feel a tingling sensation across the bridge of the nose or feel pressure in the cheek area. A special key is used to activate the expander. Insert the key in its slot. It will not touch the roof of your mouth. Next, push the key all the way from front to back, then remove the key. Typically, you will rotate the screw and the expander to the point where you can see the next slot or hole. Your orthodontist will also give you a key to turn the screw. You will need to turn the expander yourself or have somebody else turn it for you. To turn the screw, insert the key into the hole of the screw. Next, turn the screw by pushing towards the back of the mouth until you see the next hole in the screw. Then, remove the key from the screw without turning the screw backwards. The most common mistake in activating palatable expanders is on the removal of the key. Most people will correctly insert the key, correctly turn the screw by pushing the key towards the back of the mouth, but will then unwind the screw before removing the key. This action results in not activating the palatal expander at all. Another mistake commonly made in activating the palatal expander is not turning the screw a full turn before removing it. If you do not turn the screw a full turn before removing it, you will not be able to access the second hole to activate the expander next time. If you accidentally remove the key before completing the full turn, simply place the key back in the first hole, turn the screw until you can see the second hole, then remove the key. So to repeat, to activate the palatable expander correctly, first, insert the key into the hole of the screw. Next, turn the screw by pushing towards the back of the mouth until you see the next hole in the screw. Then, remove the key without turning the screw backwards. If you are activating the expander correctly, over time, you may see a gap open up between the front teeth.